Hey gang, how's it going? So I'm here in Condado, Puerto Rico. This is a little suburb of San Juan. Um, and down here doing some work for disaster risk reduction. Um, so I want to touch base with you on that because this is new and exciting work that isn't being done in very many places uh, related to health. So the idea here, of course, is to actually prevent future hurricane-related injuries before they occur. Um, and it's no small task, as you can imagine. Um, but you know, predominantly in the past, we've focused entirely on preparing to respond after these emergencies occur. In other words, after the injuries occur, after the people have gone through this. And so many times people spend those 12, 24, sometimes even longer, especially here in Puerto Rico, days and days, uh, after that impact, they spend it on their own. And so that may be fine for someone who has a lot of resources, young, has money, um, you know, a lot of uh, family, social contacts, all those kinds of resources you can call upon. But if someone's, uh, you know, really young, like under five, you're a child, or you're over 65 and elderly, or maybe disabled, or may not have much money, those folks don't have resources to pull upon, and so those 12 to 24 hours that we put them on their own, we're not putting them on their own, of course, or, you know, the hurricane's putting them on their own, and they're separated from us because we can't get to them as rescuers and emergency physicians and so on that what we need to do is think in terms more of trying to protect those people during those periods of time when they can be hurt and we know that the majority of people um, are hurt during the impact itself so that's what we're down here in Puerto Rico doing is actually this exciting project two new projects actually where we're looking at preventing disaster related injuries before they occur and so how do you do that? Well, we're doing it through community-based planning, empowering those folks at the community level to really make a difference, get in there, make their own plans, whether it's uh, take care of auntie, move over and stay with grandma during that period of time before the hurricane hits, or formal evacuation where people are actually taken to shelters in, in a more formal way. But those community-based plans on how to protect people once the emergency, uh, before the emergency even occurs, once the impact has occurred, then people are kind of on their own. So that's the idea here in Puerto Rico, and we're doing a couple of different communities uh, planning and then doing exercises in those communities to be able to test that model. And it's really exciting for us because, once again, getting on the front end of this, as I say, to the left of the bang, right? We want to start worrying about people before they're injured and try to prevent that from happening rather than having people go through that suffering, go through those losses, and then try to recover, or as they say, be become resilient after the fact. If I'm, if I'm given the choice between something not happening to me or getting hurt and then becoming resilient, I think I'll choose the former rather than the latter. So anyway, that's the idea. I'm trying to tell you a little bit about it while we're down here in Puerto Rico. Before I go though, just give you a quick view of the oversight here. Um, pretty little view of downtown Condado. Nice little quiet place um, and beautiful light down here towards sunset. Off over here in the mountains. And then this way is the bank. So anyway, nice little residential area and uh, I'm having a good time here. I had a cold uh, for the entire time, so I'm all stuffed up. You know, my eyes and nose are all watering and running. Um, but I'm enjoying it and uh, folks are down here doing good work and so I'm really proud of it. So anyway, just want to say hi and put this out there and let everyone know what we're doing down in uh, good old San Juan, Puerto Rico. Bye-bye.